Hi everyone, my name is Gregory. In today's presentation, uh, symbol occlusal composite on teeth number 30 and 31 by Venus Pearl. As a mentor of CERC daughters, I had the opportunity to test the material um, been studied by the company and to give the background. And um, today I want to share with you both the positive and negative um, of the material. But I can, of course, um, explain to you the full uh, possibility of the material because I already received the basic heat. So um, the patient came for um, uh, occlusal cavities on number 3031. Um, that's number 30 has a secondary decay around the amalgam filling, and we have to replace. Uh, we have to replace by the composite. So how did I approach this case? Uh, remove the cavity, and you can see the small cavity on number 30. Um, uh, try to remove by uh, Denville company prep start. Uh, so I don't try to use um, on the small cavity the diamond bores. Um, I use a football shape diamond fine bore and go around the uh, the margins of the um, preparation to create a little bit bevel and create more surface area of, of enamel. Then I've been using um, phosphoric acid uh, to edge uh, the enamel. And um, I've been using also uh, the prep star to clean the surface area uh, from a dentin area, from a dentin. If I have a deep cavity and I have deep cavity on number 31, so uh, I usually use um, Unisem 2 as um, as a liner material because I think it's, it's the best material pr uh, to protect the pulp, and it's e and it's very easy to use. So by using the prep start, uh, I've been using uh, 27 microns of aluminum and also I've been using uh, 40 PCI uh, uh, of the pressure. So I'm not using much because I don't want to remove unnecessary of the tooth structure and also I want to clean up the dentin and avoid all the con contaminants uh, been, uh, been, uh, you know, having this uh, during the preparation. So uh, you can see that number 31 already done, that's, uh, but I want to go step by step how to approach the case. So um, after the etching, I've been using the eye bond provided by the company, and um, I've been using usually like in two layers. I've, I've been rubbing against uh, the tool structure, and I've been using also air warmer by ADAC. So the the key point is here is to reduce sensitivity, post up sensitivity after placing uh, the composite. Make sure that um, the the bonding agent doesn't flow uh, at the bottom or on the areas where you apply to. So to make sure it uh, evaporates before you start placing the composite. It's a key because it's, uh, it will diminish the bonding and increase the sensitivity. So I've been trying to use um, uh, Hugh Freedy contract instruments and uh, trying to use um, uh, cross arch uh, the cusp to, to sculpture uh, the definition of the uh, anatomy of number 30 create the grooves, uh, create the slope of the cusps so make sure that so there is no tension after the curing so after developed uh, the, you know, the, the anatomy uh, I've been curing this at the first layer and then I've been using this um, another cusp to, to create uh, natural anatomy of the, the teeth number 3031 so when the material uh, been applied. You can see uh, how I've been using it's uh, with the connection between um, just the buccal cusp of number 30 and the mesolingual cusp of number 30 is the same. So the material been placed. You can see the final product. Um, what I've been using using usually is uh, the layering technique. I've been using like um, a hard dentin uh, the body material at the bottom is an enamel. So I don't see, of course, in the basic kit this um, uh, the composite A2 uh, shade, uh, but it still blends easily. The uh, characteristic is um, great. It, um, flexibility is great. I've been using um, composite warmer uh, usually. Uh, for, for composite application, and uh, I use from the company is Mysterium, and there is two modes of the uh, composite warmer. One is uh, you can probably use as, as a runner, and that's a little bit softer. When I apply the composite material from uh, composite warmer, I usually wait until the composite will break down, so I can easily handle the composite and adapt to the uh, to, to structure. So when 
how have the, did I polish this case? So I've been using um, the fine diamond from uh, Strauss diamonds and uh, the diamond number is uh, 860 slash 012 uh, fine. So when I create the anatomy, I've been using like a 20,000 uh, RPM revolutions. So to make sure it's, uh, I create the uh, characteristics and I don't remove uh, unnecessary tool structure. So when the first step is done, uh, I've been using uh, ET um, carbide board by Bressler, Bressler company. So to again to eliminate all the extra uh, the composite material uh, from the occlusal surfaces. So when it's done, it's, I've been using also the polishing kit been provided by the company and I've been using by high polishing grid. It's uh, and then followed by uh, a smooth polishing grid. Uh, the material, the material again, the polish as well. Uh, you can see the final product close uh, close picture. That's um, beautiful lay down lay down. It's uh, on a tool structure. Patient was happy and um, uh, left uh, with thrilled. Uh, you know the outcome. Thank you very much.